Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how you find, how you can search for um, stored procedures that contain a particular bit of text. So it might be that you've got lots of stored procedures and you want to find those stored procedures that reference a particular column or that maybe use a particular schema, but somehow you want to search for a particular bit of text in the makeup of a procedure. Now, um, what I'm going to show you, it's not only related to procedures, you can search functions and views and other um, SQL objects, but generally, uh, commonly, you want to search procedures for text. So let us begin, first of all, with um, a couple of tables. So I'm in the AdventureWorks database here, and I want to find um, any procedures that have the word sales in, say. So first of all, let's start with a couple of tables. Let's look at sys.objects. Now I've talked about um, sys before. I, I think I've got a video somewhere on schemas. I'll, I'll put a, a link to it in this description. Um, if we look at this table here, um, the sys schema is the system objects schema. Forget about this object here, but sys um, is the schema for the system, whatever, uh, tables, views, anything like that, um, that are to do with the, with the general SQL system. So sys.object is a system table and it's referencing objects. So in here is, well you can see there's this little type column here, tables, um, what do we have here? Constraints, uh, functions, you've got these types here and the names here and then you've got the create date, and the modify date and all sorts of information generally like header information based on that object. Then we've got another table called, oops, SQL modules. And this table shows you the text that makes up particular objects. So it shows the text that, that are used to create views, function, triggers, and procedures in this case. So you can see here, this definition column has create view, create function, create trigger, create procedure. You can see them all in here. So what we need to do is we need to link these two tables together. So I'm going to do an inner join to SQL modules on op dot object ID equals mo dot object ID. So I can do that. I get this um, set of results here. But actually what I am interested in is I'm interested in just seeing the um, object name and maybe the type. So um, type description, which you can see is this column and this column. So if I run that and it, in the um, SQL modules table, it was the definition that stored the makeup of that particular object. So I can say where definition um, equals, oh sorry, is like, and I wanted to search for sales. So if I do that. And then it shows me um, the name, the type, and actually what I'm interested, um, or rather in my example I was talking about, um, procedures so maybe i'll change that and say i'm looking for views um so i can say uh, and i'll be dot type description equals view oops and there's all the views and if i wanted to one other column i can bring in is actually the definition itself so using um these first uh, five lines here you get all of the objects, and then these bottom two are starting to put the conditions in to limit the results. So I can put where the definition is like this, but does not contain, you know, is not like this. Um, my type my type description is view or function or procedure or whatever you want it to be. I will copy this code and put it in the description of this video. That's the end of this video. If you've got any questions, please leave them and I'll, and I'll answer them. Um, thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.